when some people hear cholesterol, what comes to their mind? Something that killer substance in human blood. You can't blame them, can you? That's because cholesterol is in the way of good health for a lot of people. Some people had stroke because of cholesterol. Others had heart attack just because of cholesterol, while others are living with heart diseases because of cholesterol. So yes, their fears are well-founded. But does it mean that cholesterol has no good at all? That's not correct. Cholesterol has a lot of functions in the body. For example, when you start, uh, stand outside under the sunlight, it is cholesterol that your skin converts to vitamin D, which is healthy for our bone. Yes, it's needed for bone health. Cholesterol is also required for the membranes of cells and everything in our body is cells. Yes, so our organs, our tissues are made of cells. It is required for the structure and the fluidity of these cells so they can perform their functions. It is also required to make bile. Bile is that greenish substance that comes from the gallbladder into the intestine. It is required for absorption of fat and its digestion. So without bile, we cannot even absorb fat-soluble vitamins and we will not absorb the fat that we take. So cholesterol is needed for the production. It's also required for the production of sex hormones. Yes, your testosterone, your estrogen, your progesterone. So if you say you have hormonal imbalance, it may be because you don't have, you know, adequate cholesterol in the body because it is a precursor of these hormones. It's also required for proper brain function. So you can see that cholesterol has its own functions. We cannot lie. We need it. And that is why the way God made it, the body produces its own cholesterol. 80% of the cholesterol we need is produced by the liver and some other organs. But the remaining 20% is derived from our diet. But what if you have excess cholesterol in your body? Then it probably means that you are taking too much. Because when the body senses that you are taking in too much cholesterol, the liver slows down its own production. So if you still have excess cholesterol, then it must be that you are taking too much cholesterol. And that is why the first thing we do is when we see your cholesterol, especially if it is not too high, we say go and work on your diet first. Now, if your cholesterol is high, the very first thing you should ask is, is it the bad or the good? Because the higher the good cholesterol, the better for us. It is protective of our hearts. How does it do that? It helps to clear away the bad cholesterol. If the bad cholesterol is higher, then it puts you at risk of heart diseases and stroke. And you must do something to bring it down. How will you know that your cholesterol is high? On your own, there is no way of knowing unless you check by blood test. So you need to go to the hospital or a laboratory to do a cholesterol test. Fasting lipid profile, we call it. So if you have tested, that is when you will know. It is recommended that everybody 20 years and older gets tested once in five so years. So where do we get this bad cholesterol from? It is especially from fatty food. Yes, there are healthy fats and there are unhealthy fats. Unhealthy fats are from so many types of food that we eat. Some of them, especially Nigerian food. Because right now, I'll talk to Nigerians, not just those in Nigeria, but also those in diaspora. Because wherever you find a Nigerian, they take their food along with them. Every day, Nigerian foods are being packaged and sent to different parts of the world. So whether you live abroad or you're here in Nigeria, please listen to this. Some of our food actually promotes the intake of bad fat that leads to excess bad cholesterol in our body. What are they? One of them is Ogbono soup. I personally love Ogbono, but if you take too much of Ogbono, you might be exposing yourself to bad cholesterol. Also, palm oil. 
palm oil is a calorie dense oil it also has nutrients it has vitamins but it also has saturated you know fatty acid it has it's it's rich in saturated or the bad type of oil so it is even made worse by bleaching it and we love to do that a lot so especially yorubas that take a lot of palm oil nobody is saying you don't cook with palm oil but use it sparingly use it a little just like our Igbo friends do other forms of food that give us too much cholesterol are the meat we eat, processed meat, pork meat. You know that it's very fatty. Yes, processed meat or even those meat that we recommend and we call them white meat, chicken, turkey. If, if you're eating them with their skin, it is also the same thing. They are rich in cholesterol. So when you want to eat chicken or turkey, can you remove the skin? That way, it will remain healthy. So remove the skin. And then if you're eating um, meat, like cow meat, can you remove visible fat? Any visible fat from meat, remove it. Then another source is organ meat. In this part of the world, people like to eat organ meat. They call it assorted meat, orishi rishi. So you want uh, the intestine, liver, kidney, heart, all of these. They are rich in cholesterol. It can be very tasty, but it should be taken, you know, moderately. Also, when you eat processed food, like cake, like um, donuts, meat pie, all of these things, they are produced with trans fat. Trans fat is fat that is solid in room temperature. So butter, margarine, nobody makes all of this without using butter and margarine. So they expose us to high fat. And when you, you fry everything you eat, there are people who cannot eat anything without frying them. If you must fry, maybe you should air fry. So that you don't get to take a lot of fat that will ultimately give you excess cholesterol. You also get a lot of cholesterol from dairy products like um, cheese, milk, especially when they are labeled full cream, and from eggs. So you can get excess cholesterol from all this also from shellfish or from uh, shrimps now are we saying that all of this food you should not eat them no not at all but use them moderately yes there should be a balance we have said that we need cholesterol but it's just that it shouldn't be too much so be careful and the way you're going to you know control their eating may also depend on how much cholesterol you have in your system so why not go and check first go and do the test first but what are the healthier alternatives we have well for oil we can do healthier oils for example olive oil sesame oil avocado uh, sunflower or canola oil they are healthy or any other healthy oil that you know you can use them as alternatives to palm oil you can also cook and boil rather than keep frying all the time and when it comes to the choice between fish and meat you should choose fish above meat because side by side when you cook fish and you boil meat you let them sit oily fish oily meat you will see the oil on the meat congeal while the one on the fish will not congeal so what you have on the meat is trans fat that is why it solidifies at room temperature and the one on the fish is healthy that is the reason fish is healthier than meat so you may want to make the choice of eating more fish than meat and if you must eat meat then you should do uh, the white meat without the skin that also is healthy and then why not replace processed food with natural food we have said that if you want to eat cake you must eat fat within it because nobody makes cake without putting butter so rather than uh, eat this processed food, why not take the natural ones? Take fruits, take vegetables, so that you are eating these other ones moderately or sparingly while you're focusing on the healthier choices. 
these are some of the things that we can do thanks for watching i hope it's helped i'm dr abosede adigbite of clinical next please share this with everybody everybody needs to know because together we can save lives when we share this video don't forget also that good health is great wealth we will continue to do our best to keep ourselves healthy i'll see you next week with yet another topic until then please take care bye